typical in Cutopia. Yeah, I think it might be Bubba Bean. Cub is about as rowdy as a tea room. I don't know, Flux. I think that mouse over there would disagree with you. Look at him. Away with you. Flight of the Bumblebee. Uh, what the fuck? Looks like the place is a little livelier than you thought, buddy. Cool. Is that a Scottish shamrock? <laughs> is that some kind of like weird joke about people confusing Scotland and Ireland accents? <laughs> So glad you could make it to me, lovely establishment. Right, okay, no, he's Ireland. Hey, you're looking awfully good today. Magic weather or something. Okay, uh, that's the thing. Yes. He's both but Scottish answer. and Irish. A fine answer. Aye, nothing short of pure dead brilliant, by the way. Um, thanks. Why? And I couldn't be better myself. Thanks for asking. Oh, uh, sure. I couldn't help but notice that your accent is, uh, well. First it's Irish, then it's Scottish, then it's Irish, then it's Scottish, then Irish, then Scottish, Irish, Scottish. I think he gets the point. Ah, yes, thank you for noticing. A lot of folks can't tell the difference. <laughs> yep, it is, I knew it's it. It's my ancestry, you see. I knew I'm it. Irish, I knew I'm it. I'm Scottish. The and amount of times I've heard Americans. Yeah, that's right. I suppose you could say confuse Irish and Scottish oh, and shit like that. Geez. I knew it was a thing about that. But not a very sharp one, apparently. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh fucking hell. That's good, that's good. Well, you certainly seem to have the luck of the Irish. It's quite a popular little pub we run here. Oh, I'm sure it has everything to do with the tavern's tasteful decor. Yes, the shamrock motif is crazy very thing original. at the back is bonkers. Oh, that's very kind of you to say so, Cyrus. Very kind. Although, I do have one itsy little problem. Oh? What's eating you, laddie? Well, that's just it, you see. There's a moose loose about this house. Huh? huh? Right here. There's a moose loose the about tunnel. this house? There's a moose. You're being harassed by a very large antler deer? Dinner not be silly. You know what I mean. There's a wee slick at Cowrin Timber's beastie. There's a wee mouse that kind of dog. Ah, oh, a mouse. Aye, Aye. a moose. A moose in this house. Tell me, what possible problem could a little mouse pose to such a big hunk of cheese like yourself? Uh-oh, oh, I begin to understand. No, I'm not sure that you do. Oh, Chris really looks so oh, out of place. Oh, does take away nibble at me noggin from time to time. But that's all right with me. I wouldn't want the poor wee thing to starve after all. So then, if you don't mind him chewing chunks out of you, what's the problem? Well, you see, in addition to having a healthy appetite, um, this mouse is a bit, um... High spirited. I mean, he's an absolute bomb pot if you catch me drift. We don't, but we do if you catch my drift. And though I'm sure he doesn't mean us any harm, his shenanigans are driving me customers absolutely crazy. Oh, I've tried everything, but I just cannot seem to make. I can't him seem to make so him what's go away. Irritation. You sure you're not making a mountain out of a mouse hole? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm at me wit's end, I tell you. I'm even offering a reward to the person that catches the wee tight. Hey, Ian, how's it going? Warning. This guy's gotta be desperate. I mean, he is half Scottish after all. I don't fully get that. I mean, I guess that is the tight one. Like, Scottish being kind of tight. <laughs> It's, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> I think that's the joke there. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> that's an interesting organ you have there. Oh, my kilt's riding up again, isn't it? No, no, no. <laughs> I mean a piano type <laughs> organ thing. Oh, yes, of course. <clears throat> She's a Hamlin pipe organ. Wow, all Top right. Of the line she is. Well, there's a lot of dick jokes. <laughs> The Baker boys performed in here almost every day. Until the happy business with the brothers' disappearance. Okay, that's, a, that's an interesting idea. <laughs> oh, man. 
So how long has this mouse been around anyway? You know, that's funny. He showed up the very same day I got back from my vacation. Your vacation? I went to Zanidu. Oh, a terrible mistake. Hey, watch it, buddy. That's my hometown, you know. And a lovely place it is. But, unless it's only my opinion, mind you, that's no place to relax, is it? Well, every time I'd so much as set foot outside, wham! Someone will come up behind me and pull my kilt down <laughs> or drop an envelope on my scone. <laughs> oh, my hey, that's just terrible. In pants constantly. I see you've set a trap for your little visitor. Oh, dear. That horrible thing. I really hoped I wouldn't have to use it, mind you. It's just that, well, I've asked our tiny friend nicely to leave ever so many times, and it hasn't worked at all. I thought he'd see that ugly trap and simply get scared away. Yeah, right. It looks like he's quaking with fear already. I suppose what I really need is someone with pest control experience to come okay. and catch the daft wee bugger for We gotta get that mouse. Mm. By the way, did I mention that there's a lovely reward for the fellow that does? Okay, okay. Hey, wait a minute. Did we leave that haggis in the oven? Uh, oh yeah. We best skedaddle. Well, it was a pleasure meeting the two of you. Come back anytime you fancy. Right, okay, so... Oh, there's a telephone there. Hmm. I wonder what number, uh, color to dial. Oh god, it's like the freaking alien thing all over again. I feel like we're back in. I feel like we're back on the. I feel like we're back. At, back. We're back on the dig, the dig now. Okay, we need to find like a pat. We need to find a thing that tells us what to do there. Like, we just, we just, we need to find some kind of color thing or like a number. Maybe I'll give the barman's organ a try. I'm sure he'll enjoy that. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, the mouse likes that. Oh, get him! Go, go give that mouse trap a whack, would you? Check. Take that, you Wesley wooden! Oh God, Jesus! Oh my God, the animation was nightmarish. I got him. Use the trap. I never meant for our wee I kind of like that you can do two oh, people. Like worry. you do one thing, you get the guy to go do something else. Back into shape, I'm sure he'll be just fine. Ugh, I suppose you're right. Perhaps that is for the best. Thank you, friends, for making me tavern a peaceful, happy place. <laughs> Racking up the mood, oh, yeah. And without further ado, here's your reward, gentlemen. Oh my! And oh That's my. our reward. I know. I know. It's maybe too much, isn't it? But please. Take it, I insist. The both of you have earned it, so you have. Fox, what are we gonna do with this piece of junk? Maybe we can use it with I've the uh I think we might be able to use that with to get the uh the the warring can maybe? A leaky old tanker from the tavern. Maybe. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh okay, what else can we do? A mouse? Can we pick up the mouse? Yep, and I have a mouse now. Okay. <laughs> Sweet, all right. Looks like a cheerful crowd. This is Qtopia. What did you expect? Looks like a cheerful crowd. We've got two love bunnies. We got a cheese on a, a pillar. I don't know what the hell those two are. Mushroom pot guys, I guess. Top of the morning to you. Top of the morning to you too. Boy, I hate it when people try to ingratiate themselves, <laughs> especially with dairy products. And how is me lovely purple friend today? Oh, uh, top of the morning, me good sir. Hootsman, ok, ay, ah, bagora, bagora. What kind of organ did you say that was again? A Hamlin. The finest in all Qtopia. Right, okay. Sorry, gotta go. We have some capers to toss. Yeah, so I guess I should say bottom of the morning to you. Or something. Got some capers to toss. Come again soon. <laughs> uh, you know it is capers to toss. You know things to do. 
right. Um, let's see. Uh, let's go see if the uh, if that lets us get this. on this hole. No. Okay. All right, so we have, I don't know why we need that, but we have it. All right, what's in here? A video game addict. I don't get the attraction. I mean, simulated violence? What's what, the What point? an addict, what an addict. I better speak to the cashier first. Who knows what the house rules are around here? I better speak to the cashier first. Who knows what the house rules are around here? Okay. Oh, this is a, that looks like a squid or an octopus. Maybe that's where we get ink from. Good day, kind sir. My name is Drew Blank, and this is Flux Wild. Pleased to meet you. So, uh, is this an arcade? No, it's a flower shop. Only we're fresh out of flowers. Of course it's an arcade, you meathead! <laughs> Drew! Did you hear that? You just got dumped on by a cutopian! Drew playing snuffed by a sub! <laughs> wow, this guy's rude. I can't think of anything more humiliating! <laughs> Wait until everybody hears about this! You'll never live it down! <laughs> huh. Ladies and gentlemen, my friend Flux Wild. You know, I thought Utopians were supposed to be happy and helpful, caring and sharing. You seem surprisingly Silly. obnoxious. Okay, okay, so you found me out. I'm not from around here. Yeah, hey, I remember you. You used to have a place like this in Zany Do. How come you left the homeland? Eh, business sucked. It's not easy to con a Zany. Everyone's a wise guy. Yeah. So I came over here to swindle. Uh, Entertain <laughs> these smiley little Kentopian saps. It ain't glamorous, but it's a living. Yeah, I like his voice. Kentopians. Why, that's just downright inspired. You need a partner? He's speaking theoretically, of course. I am? A well, theoretical theoretically partner. Theoretically speaking. No! I like this. We've got, I don't know what that said. We've got wuss bag, girly man. Oh, this is very 90s. <laughs> Some. Some 90s-ness there. Uh, Average Joe Beefcake and Stud Muffin. If you ask me, conning the ultra gullible doesn't sound like a particularly rewarding career. Where's the challenge? Where's the joy? Now, in my line of work, uh, but enough about me, this is about your career. Stay. Oh, are you nuts? Old Fishface here is a genius. He's got it made. You're living oh, that stud yeah, muffin life. Except for the fact that I gotta live here in Utopia, which means I gotta kiss sweet little furry Utopian butt. Well, hello, friend. Aren't the flowers lovely this time of year? Happy day. Happy day. And a little <laughs> to Twitter. Cancel Toonstra. That game in the middle isn't very popular. Quackman? Hey, that's because it's from Zany Do. My furry little patrons prefer goody goody cutopian games like Sweet Fighter. Sweet, Sweet Fighter? Fighter. You hurl compliments. <laughs> <laughs> that's your most popular game? Yeah, that and Mortal Wombat. I won't ask. Well, don't. Now, Mortal Wombat. There's a game. And with all the time I got on my tentacles, let's just say I've gotten pretty damn good. In fact, I've got sort of a standing challenge. If anyone can meet me at Wackman, I'll give them one of the arcade's top prizes. This fabulous practically gold chain. Practically gold chain. Practically gold. Hey, that's almost valuable. Well, I have no idea how to play Wackman, but I'm not one to shy away from a challenge. And a lot of humiliation. So, are you up for a game? Sure, chump. You beat me, I'll give you the gold. Yeah, we're, we're looking at it from the perspective of an arcade machine, which is pretty cool.
Oh, I see. Hey, we got him. Sorry, buddy. Looks like I'm the new champ. Champ, mother's ass. I saw you cheat, but I'll give you the chain. I didn't cheat. Because your mother's I'm ass. Your guy. mother's ass. Our, your mother's ass. Uh, a gold chain. A cheap chain from the arcade. Okay. It's a music box, not a jewelry box. Not a jewelry box. Interesting. Maybe that's like the ball and chain thing. I better speak to the cashier first. Who knows what the house rules are around here? All right. See what else he has to say. We're back. Oh, goody. <laughs> I think I know how that strengthometer thing works. You try to ring the bell, right? Yep, that's all you gotta do to win one of the arcade's top prizes. This bottle of fine Chablis. Chablis. <laughs> I even got a lucky mallet right here waiting for you. Ah, <laughs> uh, sure, buddy. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> it's a tiny hammer. What? <laughs> Man, both of us is very sinister. A Cheatham 100% rubber. Good effort, Drew. Even though you failed, I admire you for giving it We got the Cheathams. He, he gave us the Cheatham hammer. I've never seen him before in my life. What ho? Don't you have to... All right, what's this one? So, what about that King Hu? You gotta love him. I mean, you do. You gotta love him, right? Oh, he's the happiest, kindest king in all Qtopia. I salute him. To tell you the truth, the guy's way too happy. Makes me want to puke. So you want to play some games or what? Okay. How about another game of... I kind of want to play Whack Man again. Just for, you know, old times sake. All right, but don't think you're going to get any more free prizes out of me. All right, I want to play a game of Whack Man, though. I like Whack Man. I'm going to Whack Man this dude. I'm going to Whack Man this dude's head off now. I'm gonna whack him. Let's do it. Whack Man. Let's go. Whack Man. Whack Man. Whack Man. So when you just sit here and do this, and then when he ducks down, then you get him. Keep throwing standing up. The second he ducks. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> That's the strat. The strat is to never wow. duck. Well, you know. Who he, he who like ducks first loses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big freaking deal. I wasn't even trying. I never liked the game anyway. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, so. Uh. Chain. Let's go. So I guess we put that in the ball chain. Oh, you can't actually just put them in anywhere, okay. Oh, wait a minute. We can't test the machine until all 12 parts are in place. 
Maybe it's best if I keep them on me for now, then. I don't have the keys or anything. Just in case, I might need to keep them somewhere else. Key to my heart? I don't know, it's always something and something. They all, they all uh, I don't know why, why, I mean, maybe one's completely different to the others, but... Uh, right, okay, so it's down here. It's Fluffy Fluffy Bun Bun in a big hurry. Maybe she's late for a very important date. <laughs> Sinister bunny. If we don't bunny. start the fire, someday all of Cutopia will look like this. Hey, it's Fluffy Fluffy Bun Bun. Big whoop. Fluffy Fluffy Bun Bun, I presume. That's me! <laughs> oh God, Jesus! There's a lot of classical music in this. <laughs> How are you today, Fluffy? I'm fuzzy and fluffy and cute and Fucking cuddly, and I just couldn't sugar plum be out fairy. Here. An itty bitty fib. You see, ever since that bad, bad Mr. Nefarious started messing up Utopia with his nasty machine, I've been just an eensy Isn't that car careful the sugar plum fairy? That nasty man is ruining everything! Just look at my meadow! Nasty, nasty, nasty! It's just not fair! Isn't that cracking? Oh, golly! Listen to me! This is the whole game is just a bunch of random classical songs. <laughs> they just keep throwing random welcome, classical songs. Like that. You fight the bumblebee before. <laughs> Thanks so much. No, thank you. I love to make special new friends. Oh boy, is it a beautiful day? I think so, silly. It's just like a bunch of like. It's just a bunch of like free to use classical songs, basically. <laughs> I guess Nefarious' attacks have you pretty shaken up. Golly, yes, but it gets much, much worse. Don't you plums fail as far as I could get? Ah, right. Okay. Somebody gave me this cotton candy to cheer me up. But I prefer popcorn! What did I do to deserve this? I'm just a perky, cute little bunny with shiny soft fur. This bunny is terrifying. Why me? Why me? Right. Considering what Nefarious has done to this meadow, I guess we should be thankful he didn't hit us. You know, I think we have my lucky charm to thank for that. Oh, a charm? <laughs> oh, it's just the little rabbit's foot I carry around with me. <laughs> Flux. Don't worry, I know he was just trying to say something nice. Like how bunnies are lucky and lovable and good to have around. Otherwise, he wouldn't have said anything at all. So, Fluffy, what exactly do you do around here, anyway? Do? Why, my job is being the cutest little bunny in the whole wide world. My big bunny ears are cute. My little bunny bottom is cute. Why, even my teeny little poops are cute. Hooray! Hooray for me! And I'm sure... Those teeny little poops smell better than flowers, Teeny right? little poops. Do they ever want to sniff my sweet fluffy bottom? Hey, guess what? No! Oh. Oh, yeah, I see, I see. Yeah, it's yeah, it was a, it's the window. It was the window. It was the sunlight coming in and just making a, a sunlight thing on the green screen. Do you know King Hugh? Oh, yes. I just love Huey. He's so good and wise is this game and happy for? and good looking. Good looking? I don't know. Of course. Every bunny is good looking in their own special way, even you. <laughs> it's like a, it's like this cutesy nice. point nice. and click game, but nice. with like special weird game. adult humor in it. <laughs> it's, it's strange. Uh... All about subverting your expectations. So, Fluffy, what's so bad about cotton candy, anyway? Well, gee, nothing at all, I guess. Except that I hate like, cotton candy! 
There's a bunch of jokes in this that kids would never get. <laughs> like, at all. Well, Fluffy, I'm afraid we have to go. Oh, boo! It's always sad to see friends leave. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, they just then they swear in this as well. So I, I don't know. I, I have no idea who this is aimed at. It's so weird. Sure, I guess. But you can't, cause you're in a fluffy, fluffy bun bun. Yeah, it has this weird. Yeah, yeah, and it also, yeah, like what Rasov said, it has this really weird, sinister feeling to it. <laughs> Like, listen to this music. It's creepy as shit. If we don't start the fire, someday all... <laughs> Jesus Christ, look at that. Oh my God, that is so fucking mind-bendingly bizarre. Scarecrow. A scarecrow, asleep on the job. Hello? Drew, what do you think you're doing? Well, I, I thought maybe, you know. You thought this rag-clad bundle of straw was alive, this game you played didn't a while you? Again? No. Well, okay, I haven't played this before maybe I did. Stream. It's not like I haven't seen weirder stuff. Oh, 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 Drew, even in my world, the scarecrow is just a... Hello? Scarecrow. You were saying? Hey, okay. did one of oh, sorry, didn't a rag clad bundle of straw? Or did that all happen in some beastly dream? I don't know. Dreams are the strangest things, aren't they? I had to simply divine one the other day. I was floating high above the world, the wind gently cradling and caressing me as I gracefully swooped and pirouetted in the air. Oh, and through all of it, I was wearing this teal chiffon scarf that was to die for. <sighs> It can be really quite devastating waking up from a dream like that, can it? Uh, yeah. Uh, 90s camp. <laughs> that also be interesting. <laughs> Get a 90s camp stereotype scarecrow now. This would be interesting. So, Mr. Scarecrow, what are you doing here? Just uh, hanging around? Hardly. If you must know, I'm watching over my babies. You're... Babies? The crows, darling. The crows. Uh, you might want to take another look at your job description. As far as I know, scarecrows are supposed to scare crows. For your information, I am not a scarecrow. I am a carecrow. Oh, a carecrow. Who cares for all the little birds? Florence Nightingale? Mm, yeah, sounds about right. And take it from me, bullying birds is one thing. But it takes a much stronger sort to look after them. By the wear and tear from throwing seed alone. Just look at these hands. Are these the hands of the idol? I don't think so, sailor. <laughs> oh my god. I suppose it's the price oh I pay for god. not wearing rubber gloves. Just, but have you oh seen god. the gaudy colors those things come in? Yuck. No, thank you. I'd rather my hands <laughs> fell off at the sleeve than be caught wearing those fashion faux pas. I know I'm terrible, aren't I? <laughs> Oh, wow, okay. Well, I have to say, you are the smartest dressing scarecrow, I mean, carecrow, I've ever met. Oh, you are a sweetheart, aren't you? Oh, I dig the cloak. It's oh, a cloak. We need the cloak. Uh, we good. need the cloak. This old thing, hate it. I call it Cape Fear. It's not like I had any choice in the matter, you know? I'd give anything for a nice new outfit. Actually, I'd give this cloak. I'm afraid it's all I've got. I don't suppose you boys could find it in your hearts? Oh, but no, what am I saying? I've crossed the line. I'm asking much too much. I, I suppose I we could help you out. Really? I want that cloak. Would you? Am I hearing what I think I'm hearing? We're going clothes shopping for a scarecrow. Tell you what, you give us a cloak and we'll get you a nice sport coat or something. A sport Board coat? How positively dismal! No, this has to be the right outfit. I want to have a, I, I want to have a carecrow like round, this in my life. Be out of this world. I want I a, wanna I want a, I want a, I want a, too sappy, like, and not too many bells way stereotype camp, definitely no carecrow in my life. Uh, sure. It gives me fashion tips. Exactly the outfit you need. 
Yeah, so do I. A straight jacket. Right, I reckon we get an outfit for the Kirkrow from the the costume plays. We need a we need ink and a, and a stamp to stamp the uh the thing with. So okay, I, I can see where that's going. It must be kind of lonely for a sociable guy like yourself hanging around in this empty cornfield. Yeah, I mean, face it. You could probably talk the ears off a corn stalk. Well, you fellas certainly have my number. I do like a good chin wag. Chatting with you is so much fun. I'm having a ball. I feel I could tell you to anything, everything, and you'd understand. Oh, good. Don't get me wrong, I love my babies. Bless their little feathered hearts. But I'm afraid gossiping with them is a bit of a one-way street. That guy's so you know mean, I mean for no reason. Oh, credit, he's the he's the uh, he's the listener. edgy he's your edgy companion. He always just makes jokes, I mean, you know. But he's literally everything. You get stuck with someone who goes on and on and on, and doesn't let you get a word in edgeways. Yes. Yeah, I guess we need a better hammer for the arcade game to get ink from him. So if we bring you a new outfit, you'll give us your cloak, right? Honey, for a new outfit. I'll give you my cloak and sing Act Two of West Side Story. <laughs> Thanks, but well, we'll just stick with the cloak. So, how does a nice Parker sound? A Parker? What are you trying to do? Kill me with humiliation? Slay me with dreariness? Oh, I can't wait to get it. I can't get a, wen a rendition of Act Two of West Side breathe. Story from the character. Okay, no Parker. Now, what should we bring you? I told you. I want something I can wear all day long and all year round, but it doesn't have to be out of this world. I don't want to have a hair out of place, okay. nothing too sappy, and not too many bells and whistles. I don't want a big top, and definitely no cross-dressing. Well, at least he isn't picky. Right, okay, well, I mean, you, you got a lot of... There's a, a lot of things So there. I gather you don't get to the palace much. You gather right, honey. But I do have an occasional chat see with King Hugh. That Poor, poor man. I really feel for the guy. It must be rough having your kingdom come under attack. Oh, you big silly. That's you big silly goose. Troubles. I mean, just look at his ensemble. Huh? Those baggy royal robes. Ugh, I just cringe. I mean, you'd think a monarch could afford a tailor. Cringe. Now, if I were king. I cringe for cringe. Having impeccable dress sense would be mandatory for all my subjects. Needless to say, I'd lead by example. And believe you me, I'd get tough on those who continue to show poor taste in their wardrobes. I'd rule with a moisturized fist in a cherry velvet glove. Oh, <laughs> what a darling little world that would be, don't you think? <laughs> sure, a fashion dictatorship headed up by a <laughs> straw man? Sounds smart. I'd rule a moisturized fist in a cherry velvet glove. Wow, that's, well, a, that's a hell of a phrase. All right, boys, but don't forget about your friend the Carecrow. Be sure to keep me posted. As if I wasn't already. Jesus Christ. That's a frick, that's a phrase. All right, what else? We, oh, look, it's a super veggie grew. A horse, a sheep, and a cow. Turbo Tunatron 2000. I think it's broken. A bovine butter making machine. <laughs> Extremely strong smell of fertilizer. It's the kind of smell that makes you sit up and take notice, and okay. then stand up and take off. I'm not going to stick my hand in there. You want to do it? Is anybody home? Just answer yay or nay. <coughs> and we have our answer. Straight from the horse's mouth. <laughs> Poor old thing. I hope his last years are happy and healthy ones. Get real. He's a pot of glue waiting to happen. <laughs> that was mean. Hello, ladies. Psst, Drew, let me handle this. I'm a whiz with foreign languages. <clears throat> oh! There's a pot of glue waiting to happen. Hubba, hubba, ring a ding ding, cowabunga! Are you speaking to us? Do you? Oh, you must want some butter. I'm terribly sorry, but there isn't any more. None at all. Butter? No, we. You see. 
The Chernatron is broken. Okay, I gotta fix the Chernatron. Hey, oh, we need butter. Deal. Butter I know how upset for uh, you must be. for the dough. Without butter, I guess. life is barely worth living. All of Cutopia mourns my pure, sweet, creamery butter. Oh boy. Happy day. We need her. We need her creamy day. butter, apparently. But okay. We will soldier on, and you must as well. Courage. Say, aren't you ladies supposed to be on all fours? <gasps> oh, oh, the nerve! <gasps> oh my goodness! <laughs> no, 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 no. That's that's not what I meant. Really, really, it's not. Oh my god! It's just that. In my world, uh, forget it. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I, I didn't mean to offend you. Well, anyone with the good manners to apologize is welcome in our stable. By the way, my name is Drew, and this <laughs> here is Klaus. Goodness me, where are my manners? Wow. Look at these I'm fucking large, jokes, dude. Jesus this Christ. Is Polly, and this machine is my lifelong friend and partner, <laughs> the Chernatron. It's a pleasure to meet man. all of you. Excuse me, you ladies supposed to be on all fours. <laughs> oh my god. This is bonkers, man. Can you imagine buying this for your kids? Just like, oh, it's a cute cartoon thing. And you're sitting there, you're like, excuse me, ladies supposed to be on all fours? Oh, nice organ. Like, it's like, like, what? I mean, I guess a lot of kids would just be like, oh, what does that mean? I don't get it. Did you say the Trinitron was broken? Yes. I'm afraid the poor thing is on the fritz and has been for quite some time. Oh, it seems like an eternity since my last milking. I don't mind telling you that my rosy red swollen udders are in desperate need of a good suck suck sucking from old Journey here. Actually, I mind you telling me that. You see, we were a team. Okay. Together. We made the sweetest, Jesus. purest <laughs> butter in all of Utopia without my partner in cream. Wow. All I have left are my memories. Look, I'm sure it's a real shame about Mr. Sucks up here, <laughs> but there's more to life than butter. All right, Drew? All right. I mean, you've got this quaint little barn to live in and all the hay you could ever want and, and uh, flocks. Did we mention this lovely barn? Ooh, besides, you could have a career in the beef business. A short one, of course. It's sweet of you to try to cheer us up. <laughs> Mr. Sucks. Oh my Until god. Until the Turnatron is fixed, things just won't be the same. But we just we, so basically we've got a, like a, a horny cow here who needs to get off on <laughs> the Turnatron. She's all bunged up. So, uh, what exactly happened to the Trinitron anyway? I'm afraid it may have broken down from simple overuse. I do so enjoy making butter. Oh yeah, this is uh is working fine. This, turning away. <laughs> very soul sex <laughs> She uh, overused she overused the Trinitron apparently. Only we had a way of getting that part without it. My life is meaningless. You know, Marge, meaning, purpose, all that stuff is over. So horny, I know. No, just ask Flux here. His life is completely pointless, and he's loving every minute of it. You bet your sweet bippy. As a revered this is, I love this. Once said, this is bonkers. Seek meaning in their lives are, what the? Ah! He was run over by a runaway ice cream truck before completing his last work. <laughs> Flux wildly, uh, whatever. He just tells bad jokes most of the time, but like. Meaning to be found in his senseless, untimely. Like I didn't realize this game was so horny. <laughs> and I thank you, you're good people. But I'm afraid for a domesticated bovine. Life is empty when you have a sack full of souring milk. Oof, Amen. That is a, that is a phrase. A sack full of souring milk. The horse seems a little quiet. Elmer? Yes. Elmer's special. Special? You know, it's a nice silo, but it isn't holding any grain, if you grasp my meaning. <sighs> no grain. Grain? I just figured he was a total retard or something. Sorry, ladies. It's the 90th? The foxes <laughs> special. 90s. He suffers from foot and mouth disease, if you grasp my meaning. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Poor little horse. Uh, so long, ladies. We have to move along. Move along? Get it? That's a very bad joke. Are they making fun of us? Of course not, Polly. These are our friends. 
comments like that make me feel like I'm about three feet high. You are about three feet high. Cool. For a second there, I thought I developed a conscience. <laughs> I think it's broken. So you need to find a thing to break the fix the chinatron so she can get a Looks like some fucking sort of suck on suction device. Boy, I sure wouldn't hook myself up to that thing. No way. Uh-uh. You think she'd mind? <laughs> okay. All right. There we go. Let's go this way. All right. Oh, God. What is that? A nasty-looking squirrel. I don't think the squirrel will let me do that. We need to grab the squirrel's nuts, do we? Nuts? What's wrong? Those things in the tree. They look okay ah. to me. A nasty-looking squirrel. Can we grab the squirrel's nuts? Pepper. Okay. I can't pick that pepper while that briar patch is in the way. That's a cutopian pepper plant. Peparium sweetus ad nauseum. The door to the squirrel's tree. Can you do it? Flux, go up there and ask the squirrel if you can grab his nuts. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> they, they made the joke. Go up there and ask the squirrel if you can grab his nuts. <laughs> you didn't take kindly to asking if you can grab his nuts. No? Okay. All right, what's down over here? Oh, is this sinister? Oh God, what the heck? <coughs> you doing, gents? Hello. Oh. Lovely day for a stroll, ain't it? BB Wolf at your BB service. BB Wolf. Oh, Big B. Bad Wolf. Short for Big Bad. Catchy. And practical. I love Big this. This is great. Awful. This is so nice. And it's this game. Like that, my friend, and you'll be the mouthful. With I'm like, I'm generally like, what's gonna happen next I'm in this Ryan game? He's wildly. Please do eat meat. Oh, you. meat you. Uh, that's nice. Anyway, we'd better be going. Stick around the memento, fellas. I got a little favor to ask you. See, I'm yeah, I like the voice of this guy. Dinner this evening, and I was hoping you might bring me a bottle of tasteful vino to accompany my. Was it the squid that had the vino? I think it was, wasn't it? I get a little testies. If you little testies. Hey, I can feel a little testies myself when the mood takes me. <laughs> Consider your drift firmly stanched, Mr. Wolf. Please call me BB. I persist. Don't think that's Jim All Cummings. Right, BB. I'll be sure to keep an eye out for Jim Cummings is the, uh, was the is a different character. Me, friends, but I do believe this. Oh no, sorry, that is Jim Cummings. Sorry, I've got Jim Cummings and thingy confused. Sorry, my bad. Yes, I do. I out. I'm telling you to bring me some stinking. I got. I, I. For some reason, Tim Curry in my head. Then yeah, I know that. Yes. Sorry. Okay. About that. Good. Now I want to wish you and your friend good luck in your missionary. That's real big of you, BB. That's a lot of. of there's a lot of sex jokes there. Think about me. Just a lot of sex jokes. Big. That's funny. I was just thinking, what big eyes you've got. Oh, the better for seeing how you ain't got my wine yet. Get going. <laughs> Ciao. Well, good luck in your missionary. All right. Okay. So that's kind of we we can't go past there until we get the vino. Uh, right. What's up here? Look, Drew. It's Zany Drew. That's where I live. An empty hand. Or, in other words, my take home pay from Sam Schmaltz. I guess the nut's not up for grabs. <laughs> Hi there, Jumbo! What's up beside you, of course? <laughs> An empty hand. Or, in other words, my take home pay from Sam Schmaltz. Inc. Looks like a gear shift. This is getting us nowhere. Well, technically speaking, we're somewhere, uh, but I kay. guess it's not the somewhere you had in mind. And that's the mainland one. This is getting us nowhere.
Right, okay, so we need a nut for it. Okay. We need the squirrel's nuts. What if we have an item we can use against him? Uh, like the mouse, maybe? I don't think that's the kind of thing the squirrel is looking for. Hmm. Music box? I don't think he's listening. I don't think that's the kind of thing the squirrel is looking Drew for. Drew a cartoonist? Yeah, he got sucked into uh he got sucked into his a uh, cartoon world basically of characters he's created apparently. I'm pretty sure the red herring will never use. <laughs> because it's a red herring. There's nothing in the can. Ah, oh, we need to fill the can, do we? There's nothing in the can. Hmm, interesting, okay. What if we can fill the My pal flux. the can with fertilizer? Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, Thank yuck. you, baby. Sorry, sorry, mate. Oh, it's alright. Don't worry. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I got the window open. <laughs> I don't know when we're going to need to start turning the heat off. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Don't come say hi. Oh, you look fine. Jazzy's here. Yeah, I love Jazzy. It's Jazzy's week off. Yeah, and I've not long woken up. Um, yeah, you've been, Jazzy's been I in bed. I haven't taken a brush to my hair. Jazzy's been in bed for I ages. I haven't taken a toothbrush to my teeth. It's the Connect Four champion herself. <laughs> hey. and, the, and the bench press champion. I'm actually going to take, I'm going to take a, um, a chair and I'm going to put it outside the front. Yeah. And I'm going to sit outside. You're going to sit outside. Yeah. Because our back. It doesn't get any sun. Yeah. But the front gets all the sun, and I'm like, oh, so much sun. Jazzy wants a bit of a D vitamin. I had the window before, but it just kept casting massive sun lines across the green screen. Oh, no. I got the window open, but the blinds I can't really open up because it messes the green screen. What about if you just open the blinds rather than turn them? But the sunlight will still come from. Yeah, but you won't have line casts, will you? Yeah, but it'll fuck the green screen up. Uh. Yeah, it kind of messes with the green. I'll, I'll fiddle with it a bit, maybe. Fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. Fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. But yeah, Jazzy's going to get some D-vitamins. Some D-vitamins. Enjoy. But yeah, I'm very excited to sit outside in the sunshine. Right, okay, so we have a... Watering can full of extremely strong... Yeah, I only had it closed water. in case you wanted to, like, watch TV or something. That's not... Oh, um, Jazzy's been in bed for ages. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Jazzy's been in bed for ages. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Jazzy's been in bed for ages. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Jazzy's been in bed for ages. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Jazzy's been in bed for ages. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Jazzy's been in bed for ages. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Jazzy's been in bed for ages. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Jazzy's been in bed for ages. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Jazzy's been in bed for ages. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Jazzy's been in bed for ages. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Jazzy's been in bed for ages. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Jazzy's been in If we can like knock out the, no, we can use it on this maybe. Think I should fertilize this pepper plant? Nah, looks pretty healthy already. Think I should fertilize this pepper plant? Nah, looks pretty healthy already. Fertilize, right? Uh, fertilize. Sex joke again. <laughs> Future home of the Royal Botanical Gardens. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to think now, like what, uh, like something over here maybe, or? Uh,
It's up to the right here. Uh, you can't go that way. A crappy old tankard and security door counterweight. All right, so we can't we can't pick that up anymore. So that's actually like where it's it's gonna stay now. Uh, we've got keys from the baker's piano. Keys from the baker's piano. We've got the voucher. voucher from we the need we need shop. a stamp for that. A royal music box, complete with an embossed portrait of King Hugh on the lid. I think we can use that to stamp that, but we need ink. And to get ink, I think we need to beat the hammer game. Uh, we have An a mouse and slightly scruffy mouse. We have a mouse. We have a red a herring. herring. A we have a chain, chain from the arcade. And we have a watering can a full of. Extremely strong smelling fertilizer. The malevolator. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna use it somewhere. The back in here, I guess. Can we, like, fertilize the cow? <laughs> I like how it makes just goofy sounds the whole time. <laughs> squirrel's doorstep. I don't want to revive him yet. A herring. I don't want to revive him yet. I don't want to revive him yet. Maybe that means we can, those two get used together? I don't want to revive him yet. I feel like he wouldn't, it wouldn't make An the sound. And slightly scruffy mouse. It wouldn't make the sound. I can't stamp yeah. anything without Yeah, me. I think the fact that if it says, if it says something, we, we're missing a thing. That's actually quite handy. So I think I guess we use the fertilizer with the mouse, but I don't know why the fuck we'd use the fertilizer with the mouse. Like where? Maybe We can't do anything here. We need a freaking peanut, apparently. We need a nut from the squirrel. I don't think we can carry on anymore here until we get the Vino. Hello, fiend. Greetings and salivations. Scare the elephant with a mouse? Oh, that's not a bad idea. Just so we uh, you know, completely clear on this, what kind of wine did you want us to get? A common sewer like me drinks only the finest voltage. There's something with a nice croquet and a fancy label. Finest vintage. Nice bouquet. Fancy label. Got it. You haven't got a thing. Now stop asking stupid <sighs> questions and get me my wine before I get. Yeah, I'm. I'm wondering if the. I'm, I'm wondering if the red herring will turn out to be something, or if it literally is just a red herring. Well, we've got. And the joke is that you actually do use the red herring. <laughs> right. Okay. So yeah, maybe we use the mouse to scare the the. Uh, Guy. A mouse won't be too scary from 20 feet away. Okay. Um, yep, 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 yep. Sorry, little fella, but it's time to wake up and smell the fertilizer. Okay, he's That's up. That's the most ridiculous contraption I've ever seen. All right, he's of up. Of course it is. It's the zany dude. Right, so when we go... And now we go forwards. We're going to Zany Dill. I love going to Zany Dill. Are we there? Yet? Like how that was the actually the answer. <laughs> <laughs> 